Hi, welcome to The Wine Glass, and today we're going to be talking about the point system. So we're going to be talking about two different point systems. We're going to be talking about the 100 point system and the 20 point system. So let's go ahead and start talking about the 100 point system first. So early on, there wasn't really any consumer-based information that consumers can look at to kind of get a gauge on whether wine is good, bad, or just okay. You had to rely on the criticism of the person selling you the wine or your friends or your family. So there really wasn't any centralized area that people can go and get some information on. So in 1978, Robert Parker created the Wine Advocate. Now the Wine Advocate created the 100 point system. Now this system was a consumer based point system. So different consumers would get together, they would try the wines, they would rank them, and then they would put their critiques in the newsletter. This was the very first consumer-based newsletter and it grew like wildfire. Consumers were always reaching towards it, always checking to see if any of the wines coming out are going to be good, if they're going to be bad, if some of them were fantastic. And so there was a huge shift in the market. It went from a producer-based market to a consumer-based market. So that was a really interesting shift. And so producers started paying attention to what the consumers were buying and started kind of tailoring their wines to what the consumers liked. So I'm gonna go in depth on Robert Parker in another video, but I did want to touch on his an interesting creation, which was the Wine Advocate and the 100 point system. So now let's go into our judging points, which is the 20 point system. Now right here I actually have a judging sheet from the Indiana State Fair wine competition and they taste in competitions blind. So this actually made for a huge twist in the 1976 Judgment of Paris and where two California wines beat out French wines which was the very first time any wines of the New World, which is anywhere outside of Europe beat European wines. So this was something that was kind of monumentous. It was just a huge thing for the wine world because it showed that the New World wines, you know, they're, they're pretty good. They're getting up there and they're, they're kind of catching up with those old world wines. They're not the jug wine that everybody thought it was. So let's talk about the judging sheet. So right up here we have our flight number. So they come out in flights and then you would write wine number one, two, three, four, and five and then you have what you're going to be judging on. So the things that they judge on is going to be clarity, color, aroma, taste, aftertaste, and then the overall. So you would look at the color, is it nice, is it clear, is it cloudy, you know, you talk about the taste, what notes, and then over here on the side we do have a comment section, so you can always write in, oh, it has a hay color, it has an aftertaste of black cherries, but it tastes like chocolate, you know, you can kind of write your notes on the wine here. And then right here we have our range. So everything is going to be on a scale of a maximum one to five. So some of the things are one to two points, some of them are one to five points, or some of them are one to three points. So different aspects are going to weigh more or less depending on what it is. So then right here you're going to tally up all your points. So you have your range, you have your score, so you're going to give a score based on the, that range and then you have your total score. Remember it's gonna be on a scale of one to 20. So also over here we have like the award section. So there is a suggestion written down here on what the awards are, but the suggestions are from a 12 to a 14 point wine is going to be a bronze award. From a 15 to a 16 point is going to be a silver award. And then from a 17 to a 20, it's gonna be a gold award. So if you ever look at your wines and it says silver award, gold award, bronze award, you know that in a competition, it's scored a certain amount of points that won it that award. So if you are ever out shopping and then you see a bottle that says 94 points and it says a gold award, you know that on both the consumer scale and the judging scale, it scored very high. Now, another reason, real quick, why the 100 point system caught on really quickly is that 100 points is a lot easier for the consumers to understand versus the 20 point system. You know, throughout school and then work, we're always graded on a 1 to 100 scale. 
So when that system was created, it was a lot easier for the consumer base to understand the point system. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this makes it less confusing when you guys go out shopping for your wines. If you see a bunch of numbers on your bottle, now you know what it means. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember to drink responsibly and happy drinking.